Have you ever wondered how fast a star can go? Stars are not stationary objects. They orbit around the center of gravity of their galaxy, which is usually occupied by a massive black hole. The closer a star is to the black hole, the faster it has to move to avoid being swallowed by its immense gravity. But even at a safe distance, stars can experience gravitational interactions with other stars or objects that can alter their orbits and speeds. In this video, I will reveal to you the secrets of the fastest stars ever seen in the Milky Way. We will dive into a new discovery made by Gaia, a space observatory that has mapped more than a billion stars in our galaxy and beyond to find out two new stars that break the record for the fastest radial velocity of any runaway star ever seen. So buckle up and join us on this thrilling journey through the Milky Way. Most people watch the night sky and think that stars are slow and steady objects that take millions of years to change their positions and speeds. But that's not always the case. Some stars can move much faster than others, depending on their origin and environment. One way that a star can end up moving so fast is by being ejected by a powerful supernova explosion. A supernova is an event that occurs when a massive star runs out of fuel and collapses under its own weight. The collapse triggers a huge blast that can either destroy the star completely or leave behind a dense remnant such as a neutron star or a black hole. If the star was part of a binary system, meaning that it had another star orbiting around it, the explosion can have different effects on its companion. It can either blow it away from the galaxy at high speed, or it can transfer some of its mass and momentum to it, making it spin faster and move faster. These ejected stars are called runaway stars because they have enough velocity to escape the gravitational pull of their galaxy. They can travel at speeds of hundreds or thousands of kilometers per second, which is much faster than most stars in our galaxy. But there is another way that a star can become a runaway star without involving a supernova explosion. This happens when a white dwarf star steals material from a companion star in a binary system. A white dwarf is a remnant of a low-mass star that has exhausted its nuclear fuel and shed its outer layers. It is very dense and hot, but it cannot produce any more energy by fusion. However, if it has another star orbiting around it, it can slowly digest it, stripping stellar material away as they circle each other. When enough material has been accreted from one star to the other, the feasting star will eventually reach what is called the Chandrasekhar mass. At this critical mass, the growing star can no longer resist the gravitational pressure and collapses in on itself, resulting in a massive explosion. This explosion is called a Type 1a supernova, and it is different from other types of supernovas because it always explodes with the same brightness. This makes it very useful for measuring astronomical distances because we can compare how bright it appears to us with how bright it actually is. But what happens to the companion star after this explosion? In some cases, it can also be propelled away from the galaxy at breakneck speeds. These are called hypervelocity stars, and they are even faster than runaway stars. They can travel at speeds of thousands or tens of thousands of kilometers per second. But how do we measure the speeds of these stars? And how do we find them in the vastness of space? To answer these questions, we need to look at the data collected by Gaia. Gaia's mission is to map the positions, distances, motions, and properties of more than a billion stars in our galaxy and beyond. By doing so, Gaia is helping us to understand the structure, history, and evolution of our galaxy and its inhabitants. One of Gaia's achievements is to discover new runaway and hypervelocity stars that were previously unknown or poorly measured. Until recently, there were only 10 known stars on trajectories that will allow them to escape the Milky Way galaxy, thrown astray by powerful supernova explosions. A new study using data from Gaia's survey this June has revealed an additional six runaways, two of which break the record for the fastest radial velocity of any runaway star ever seen, 1,694 km per second and 2,285 km per second. Radial velocity is the component of a star's velocity that is directed towards or away from us. The higher the radial velocity, the faster the star is moving towards or away from us. The two record-breaking stars are named J0927 and J1235, where J stands for J-Helum, 
a stellar stream in our galaxy. Stellar streams are groups of stars that share a common origin and motion, usually formed by tidal disruption of smaller galaxies or star clusters by our galaxy's gravity. J0927 and J1235 are both hypervelocity stars that originated from Type I supernova explosions in binary systems. They are both white dwarfs that survived the explosions and were flung out of their orbits by the recoil effect. They are both located in the halo of our galaxy, which is a spherical region that surrounds the disk where most stars reside. But what makes these two stars so special is not only their speed, but also their direction. They are both heading towards the center of our galaxy, where a monster lurks. The supermassive black hole Sagittarius A star, which is as massive as about 4 million suns. Sagittarius A star is the ultimate gravitational attraction in our galaxy. It has hundreds of stars pulled closely into its orbit, traveling at extreme speeds from the gravitational boost presented by this close proximity. In a new study, scientists discovered the fastest of these stars, S4714, which orbits around Sagittarius A star at more than 8% of light speed, or 24,000 kilometers per second, faster than any other known star. S4714 is one of the so-called S-stars, or stars which travel in long, elliptical orbits around Sagittarius A star. It has a very close approach to the black hole, at a distance of only about 12 light hours, or about three times the distance between the Sun and Pluto. At this point, it reaches its maximum speed, and experiences intense gravitational forces that can stretch and squeeze it. This star is also one of the candidates for a new type of star that has been theorized but not yet observed. A squeezer. A squeezer is a star that orbits so close to a black hole that it is squeezed by the black hole's tidal forces, causing it to oscillate and emit gravitational waves. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time that are produced by accelerating masses, such as merging black holes or neutron stars. They can be detected by sensitive instruments on Earth, such as LIGO and VIRGO. If S4714 is indeed a squeezar, it could be a new source of gravitational waves that could help us to probe the extreme environment around Seskiar A asterisk and test our theories of gravity and space-time. However, S4714's fate is uncertain. It could either survive its close encounters with the black hole for millions of years, or it could be disrupted by another star or object that crosses its path and changes its orbit. The same could happen to J0927 and J1235, the two hypervelocity stars that are heading towards the galactic center. They could either pass by the black hole unharmed, or they could be captured or destroyed by its gravity. Either way, they will provide us with valuable information about the origin and evolution of our galaxy and its most mysterious inhabitant. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more exciting discoveries. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions or comments, please let us know in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you.